Executive Chairman of Akukotoro LGA in the person of Honorable Mrs. Fire Prince Oneide. I want to thank first the Chairman for the opportunity to say a word or two at this auspicious event. Um, I know a lot of us will be wondering why everybody is assembled for this project. You can see the king himself is here with all of us because we know the significance of what is happening here today. I've served in this local government as chairman, I'm sure right from the days of Chief David Briggs, through my time, all through Chief Theodore Jojo's time, up to today, this is one need that has been staring at all of us. The traditional institution, that is the king and the chiefs, have always called for a befitting the fitting symmetry for this community. All the while, what has been happening is renovation of the existing one. But it gladdens, gladdens my heart that the chairman, in less than a hundred days of her assumption of office, has decided to take this big bull by the horn to not renovate the cemetery, yep, yep. but re expand and rebuild the Abonema oh, Cemetery. I, I am here because I feel it is indeed a laudable project and she deserves to be commended and encouraged for embarking on this project that will touch the lives of every one of us here. There's nobody in this Abonema that will not be impacted by this project. Because we will not die, but when our parents are up to 100 years and above and they die, we will have a proper and befitting place to bury them. In fact, one challenge, Your Majesty, I know you are on top of it, that we've always had, is the community, even the council, had said we shouldn't bury in our homes. But you see, we are always under this pressure to allow people to bury at home because they don't have an executive and befitting place of burial. I think with this project, most dignitaries can come to the cemetery and bury their parents. So I think she must be commended for that. Um, when I spoke during the campaign, when during her campaign and before the Council of Chiefs, I said two things. At the Council of Chiefs, I said, when a dancer is dancing, from the first steps, you will know how that dancer will dance. From these first steps, it is clear that our chairman is ready to perform. She's ready to copy the example of our governor to deliver on projects in this local government area. Uh, I'm sure most of you are aware that the governor is kickstarting a, a series of project commissioning in the states from tomorrow. So it's good to be here to kickstart it with my local government chairman doing her own uh, project flag off will be, by the grace of God, flagging off 
the Abunima, Degema, Tema, Bugma Road on the 21st. And the governor has awarded it to not, not just any mean contractor, but to Gilos Vega. And they are going to do a marvelous job. So uh, our chairman is starting a season of uh, projects for us, and it is a very commendable thing. I did say during the campaign that a lot of us men, we have headed this local government area. Good thing now a woman is coming. Maybe, maybe she may well be the Deborah of the land. I wish you the best of luck. I encourage all of us to support her, support the project, because it certainly will impact positively on all of us. project is very dear to her heart. When she came to address the Council of Chiefs, the Amaiwa was not present. I was the chair on that day, and then I told her, this project, please, whatever you can do, try and do it for us. We tried to proceed, spoke to all the previous council chairmen, how important this one is. But this is an action woman. A woman that has come to South. The answer to this book is that maybe she should be a Deborah. We think that of course our first steps are very valuable steps and we want to commend you. We are behind you, we'll give you every support you need so that you will draw strength from our support. And after you've done this, I know that you face the next project. As you have said, your governor, whom you're, who you're thinking after, is going to commission a series of projects. So you will have the opportunity for commissioning this, and then after you have commissioned all the projects, this one would have been done, and then you give us the second project. May God bless you, give you foresight to do all the right things, and may you always, always be blessed, and that your reign be remembered. We are all here happy. And that is just the justification of the scripture. When the righteous rule, what? The people. So he has come to say he's the righteous politically. And what is the people doing? We are rejoicing. I give God that glory. I do not know. I do not know of any cemetery in Abonima. I do not know. This is the only cemetery I know that belongs to the people of Abonima. And from the very first day, Abonima becomes the headquarters of Abonima local government area. This also becomes the only cemetery of all sons and daughters of Abonima local government area. A few days ago, I was imagining, I'm 60 years on X. Abonima has existed for over 100 years. So I was imagining how many persons must have died and have been buried here within a static and defined and confined environment. Last week I was in Abonima, week before last I was in Abonima. And by my count, week before last we buried about nine persons. Last week was about 13. A friend of mine was with me and I said, if this is their community, that would have been the extinction of their community. Meaning, this land has consumed a lot that it needs to be expanded. And the chairman, coming up with this idea, supported by the Amayinabo, and indeed, all members of the Council of Chiefs, I say we are rejoicing and I thank you for this. I would have said more than this, except to say, Toye, go on. Carry on. We are behind you. God is behind you. The Amayinabo is behind you. The people of Labrador is behind you. The governor is behind you. God bless you.
I never go there. Me take a chairman, ma. Barry. Why begin to go? I'm a business. I go project. In Warisota, three weeks, four weeks, maybe five weeks here, and I break. In case you hear me tell me, I never for try that. I know what's in so much close and go to me be Barry. In begin, I me minute ke wa break there. I last time I I minute there. Akuma. Ori na kuso. It's over 150 years old. So the expansion is very, very important. And I'm the German. I'm a 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 German. He began by the promise of Brian. He began to because members are gay. Yeko Gobio, Ice Block Bio, Tabu Panjo, Gorwet, in Babo Polosime, Pai Bisaki, or Sinke, Wapri. I'm not going to run here. Oh, better. Maga may go see him, and then, oh boy, go such a Pamutamo, may man, flag of Amen. 